AP Biology, Chapter 35, Plant Anatomy and Function, Part 2. There are three types of plant tissues that you're responsible for knowing. Remember that a tissue is a group of cells that have the same function. And plants have true tissues. They are not protists. And the three main types of tissues are dermal, vascular, and ground. Dermal, as the name implies, is the skin of the plant. Think of epidermis of yourself, and that's kind of the same thing for the plant. So dermal tissue, the skin of the plant and it covers and protects the plant, just like your skin. Vascular tissue refers to tubes, and that's what you should know for vascular. This is transport for materials between shoots and roots, and these two tubes are called xylem and phloem, that we'll go into details later. Xylem are the water tubes, phloem are the food tubes or sugar tubes. Xylem transports water from the roots up to the leaves, and then phloem transport the sugars from the leaves down to the roots. Now, there are some times when sugars are transported the other direction, and we'll talk about that later. Ground tissue is everything else. So if you get a test question about what type of tissue it is, if it's not the skin and it's not a tube, it's ground tissue. And we're not talking it's in the ground. It's the name of the tissue, uh, the name of the cells of the plant. So all the middle layers of the leaf that do photosynthesis, uh, all the parts of the plant that are not uh, covering it or involved with transporting it, uh, the stuff, that's ground tissue. Here we have some uh, pictures. We have ground tissue represented by the yellow in three different places, leaves, stem, roots, dermal tissue in three different places, roots, stem, leaves. Then we have vascular tissue, tubes for transport, and the roots, stem, and leaves. All right, moving on. Here we have some cell types as well. So you now know about the three types of tissues. There are three types of cell types that you need to know as well parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. All right, let's write this down. Plant cell types. Now, these are the cell types found in the tissues. Parenchyma, you can kind of think of as the parent of all the other types of cells. These are the least specialized and will become colenchyma and sclerenchyma after they become specialized. So parenchyma, you can kind of think of as, and you might want to write this down, parent, in parentheses, of the other cells. Also, some cells just stay parenchyma. They're least specialized. They're storage cells. If you're eating a potato, it's mainly parenchyma or a carrot. Uh, also photosynthetic cells, the middle layer, the mesophyll layer of the leaf is all parenchyma. Fruit is mainly parenchyma. All right, colenchyma, they're uneven, thicken primary walls for support. In fact, colenchyma and sclerenchyma are both used for support. So if we're talking about cell types and it's not used for support, then it's parenchyma. If it is used for support, then it's either going to be colenchyma or sclerenchyma. Now, the way to figure out which one is which, well, first uh, way that we can tell the difference is whether it's the primary walls or the secondary walls of the, um, uh, the cells that are being supported. Uh, that one you might have a little trouble remember, remembering. Uneven thickness and colenchyma, again, that might be kind of hard. However, sclerenchyma is dead at maturity. That is a key uh, idea there. If you know it's dead support cells, it has to be sclerenchyma. If it's live support cells, then it's colenchyma. You might want to add that to colenchyma, live. Live support versus dead support. Another uh, thing about sclerenchyma is that they have woody uh, substance to kind of keep it rigid. And that woody substance is something called lignin. Lignin is spelled L-I-G-N-I-N. And lignin is the woody stuff of wood, and that's found in sclerenchyma. All right, let's pause at this point and copy this down. Parenchyma, a little more details here. They're relatively unspecialized. Here we have a lot of uh, parenchyma in the middle of the uh, plant here. Colenchyma is uneven thickness. See, there's like really thick here and uh, a little thinner here, uneven thickness. And they're alive at maturity. They provide support. You can think of colenchyma as the stringy stuff in celery. In fact, that's the one way I remember it is celery starts with a C and colenchyma starts with a C. So that colenchyma found in celery is that stringy stuff. Here we have the uh, strings of celery stalks or colenchyma. Sclerenchyma, lignin. Let's write, make sure you have that. Lignin is the woody stuff of wood, cannot elongate, and dead at maturity. Xylem is made of sclerenchyma, so xylem is not alive. They're dead cells that are in the shape of tubes. And um, 
There's some types of xylem, uh, and these are called tracheids. We'll talk more about those later. Fibers are used for, um, yeah, of sclerenchyma are used for rope. If you ever see the, that, that kind of uh, tan rope called manila rope, that's all sclerenchyma. And then nutshells and seed coats, anything that's gritty and feels kind of woody is all sclerenchyma. You know, if you especially think of like a peach pit that's like very wo uh, woody, that's all sclerenchyma. All right, moving on. Vascular tissue. Now, there's two types of vascular tissue, and you have to know both. Let's go ahead and write this down. I'm going to just use my uh, cursor to tell you what I need you to write down. So as I tell you uh, what you need, I'll put my cursor above it. Here, vascular tissue. Write that down, and let's make sure all this stuff is in your notes. Xylem carries water and minerals up from the roots, and they're tube-shaped as cells made of sclerenchyma. And especially in wood, that's, uh, that's what mostly wood is, is sclerenchyma. Only their walls provide a system of microscopic water pipes, and you can see them kind of over here. Phloem carries nutrients throughout the plants, especially sugars. Sugars like sucrose, which is a glucose and a fructose made by photosynthesis, uh, amino acids, and these are living cells. So you can guess, guess phloem is probably not made of sclerenchyma. All right, here we have xylem. These are dead cells, water-conducting cells of the xylem. And there's two types of xylem, and I want you to write both of them down now. The two types of xylem are vessel elements and tracheids. And the only difference you have to really know between those two is that vessel elements are thicker tubes of xylem. Tracheids are thinner tubes of xylem. Write that down, please. Here we have a trache uh, tracheid, smaller tubes, and then we have the vessel element, bigger tubes. Both conduct water. Adhesion, cohesion. All right. Xylem, uh, here we can uh, get more information on this if you want to fill in your notes on that. Xylem is dead at functional maturity. If you already have that down, you don't have to worry about that again. Tracheids, long, thin cells with tapered ends, reinforced with lignin, and that's the key word there. They're thinner. They have little pits. If you take a look here, see the little pits here where we let water through? Vessel elements are wider. You can almost spell a word with this. V-E-T, vet. Here's phloem. Now, phloem has uh, something a little bit different. Now, remember, these are living cells, and these living cells are uh, empty of many of the organelles. So in phloem, we have something called a companion cell that helps keep the... Uh, uh, sieve tube member alive. So there's two parts here. We got a sieve tube member, which is going to let the sugar in the water, uh, the, the sugar is dissolved in the water, flow from leaves down to the roots, and then we have a companion cell providing some of the things that the cell needs to survive. Here we have a uh, companion cell next to a sieve tube uh, member. So we got our, here's another sieve tube member with a sieve plate. A sieve plate is just basically a plate with holes in it to let the sugars with water through. As you can see, here's a sieve plate between two sieve tube members, and these side cells are companion cells, keeping those cells alive. All right, let's write this down. Phloem, living cells at functional maturity. You don't necessarily have to have this stuff down here, but you should know what a sieve tube and a companion cell is. Sieve tubes are, they have something called a sieve plate, have pores. And these sieve plates are just basically like a filter between uh, two cells, let sugars through. And then uh, companion cells keep the sieve tube cells alive. All right, why don't you review at this point and uh, talk about the differences between phloem and xylem. All right, this ends uh, part two of your notes on chapter 35, plant anatomy.